What's up you guys, thank you for joining me on another Matt Perry video. Today we're gonna to do a number of things. Everything's gonna be with my driver. I wanna see how far I hit my driver, basically do that before and after thing because if you didn't know, I'm gonna be improving my driver swing and my swing speed and all that stuff to be able to drive the ball as far as I used to. I used to be able to drive it over 300 yards and now I can barely carry it 220, it's just sad. And um, I noticed that I have a very strong out to in swing with my irons and my driver. And once I fix it on my driver, I'll transition to all of my other clubs. But as you know, I'm trying to fix and improve my swing speed. So this is something that I wanna do a before and after with. I'm also going to break down my swing plane, everything I'm doing wrong, my face, impact zone, all of that stuff. We're gonna break down all of this stuff that I can from the front view, from the side view, everything that we could possibly do on the driving range, and that's what I'm gonna look at today. Um, I believe it's good weather outside, so um, we're gonna go ahead and do this, and um, hopefully we can get some really, really good footage and get a full understanding of what's going on with my swing. If you enjoy this content and you wanna see the progress, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the subscribe button. Um, we have a bunch of people that are not subscribed that are watching the channel but are not subscribed, so hit that subscribe button. But we're gonna to head to the range and we're gonna do this real quick. I just finished at the driving range. I'll tell you what, um, I need a lot of work. I definitely need a lot of work. Um, the driver swing wasn't there and I will, I will, um, you know, talk you through exactly what's going on with my swing and what I need to improve on, swing plane, um, the face, um, you know, keeping my head still, whatever it actually is, I'm gonna take you through that. Cause that wasn't really the best range session. I got really, really pissed off at times. Uh, the driver just wasn't really going my way uh, today. It typically doesn't go my way. So I wasn't hitting the best drives, but I do see my average and uh, my average is just around 217 yards of carry. <clears throat> I've hit some shots that were 150 or sorry, 254 that rolled out to about 270 but I have to figure out what I'm doing on those swings differently and I would imagine it's just the strike. I would imagine it's just um, the amount of lag that I'm having and plus the, the strike that's in there. So right now my average to start, I know I'm not gonna make like an overnight improvement so I've only been doing this for, I've only been swing training 
for probably what three days three days now and um, I'm not gonna see me go from 200 yards to 300 yards right away um, there's a lot of things that need to be changed uh, my swing plane the face um, you know just looking at a lot of different things so we're gonna get back we're gonna analyze my swing hopefully you guys enjoy this content so far and um, we're gonna break down exactly what's wrong with my swing and if you guys have any other tips as well I'll definitely include them in you know the analysis or in my overall swing change um, but either way I'm gonna improve my swing speed right now the max swing speed that I've had was 101 which is not good enough so uh, make sure you guys Hit the like button. Um, we are gonna go into the analysis right now and uh, hopefully you enjoy it. All right, so we're gonna take you through my swing setup here and what's going on with this whole thing. So um, I drew two lines here. I drew a line at my head, I drew a line at the swing plane. Now the issue that I'm having with my swing is I'm not staying on plane. Another issue that I've noticed with my swing is that um, my head is not staying in the right uh, motion. It's not staying in the right area. Typically you want it to stay still um, and not move too much, but we're seeing it move quite a bit. So let's go through this. We're going to look through this slowly and you could see as we go through the swing plane, you could see that the setup is great. You know, um, where I pull it back, the club to about this point is really, really good. Then I get closer and closer up to that top point. Um, once I get to about here, you start to notice that my head is, you know, quite a bit over that line not too much so it's definitely um, you know doable where you could see some sort of impact zone if I stayed at that level um, however <clears throat> there's a lot of room for error once your head starts to really jump up and down because then also your swing jumps up and down to where you top it you hit it too fat you go underneath it all that different stuff but you start to see this as we pull back and I'm overextended here you can see that the club is out behind me it's not parallel um, which means that my wrist is not, you know, flat. It's more or less, um, it's not bowed, but the opposite way, <clears throat> kind of curled. So then you get up there and it's like, all right, you're already overextended. You're way over that line. Um, but the problem is, is that I continue to increase over there. And you could see as I get to the peak point, I'm way overextended. I think that's way too much. I'm not a long drive champion. I don't need to have that much extension. Um, I need to shorten that a little bit. And you could see that this right here being well over, it just doesn't look right. The hip turn, really, really good. Um, but let's go ahead and look at the downswing. So the downswing here, we get set up right back into the area where we wanted to be. Um, typically we wanna be in that spot. The problem is, is that you know, with all of that room for error bobbing up and down is not really good at all. However, you can see where my swing is. After being underneath that swing plane, look where my swing comes down at. My swing comes down well above the swing plane that was set up here. Um, and you can see that I'm starting to come from outside to in. Um, and that's not really a good deal when it is coming from outside to in, then you end up slicing it. In this case, I didn't slice it. I just, you know, pushed it out to the right because the face was open anyways. Um, and you could see that I pulled, I pulled in. Instead of extending out, I pulled in. And that's not really a good thing either. And uh, you can see as we go through the rest of the swing, I was really, really upset with myself. And uh, this is the one where I slammed my club, which I was just upset with the fact that I did that. Um, on the driving range and also with my shot. It's just not really going my way. That's why I was so upset and I knew it. So that's what I was seeing from the side. Now let's look at the front. Now we have three lines set up. We have the top to where my head, I want it to stay still. We have the side, really, I don't want it to pass that to look like it's swaying. I want to see hip turn, not you know swaying outside. And then this, I want to see some movement towards that line. Not too much movement, but movement towards that line where I touch it and then find a way to you know, um, swipe up on the ball. So let's go through this real quick. And we can see that the takeaway, really, really good. I love my takeaway so much, getting it pointed at the belly button somewhere around here. And then we start to get up to a level. You can see that hip turn and the line right here, how I'm not crossing it. It's just hip turn that I'm doing right there, which is a really, really good setup. Um, feet stay flat on the floor, stay, um, you know, grounded. That's definitely good. But as I start to get up to the top, I still have that hip turn, still haven't really passed that uh, level, and it looks really, really good. However, the top point, you could see that I'm across that line, I'm overextended, just like the other view. And you could see as I start to go up, I'm still overextended. There's no reason for that much extension. 
I seriously don't see that, so I'm, I'm going to need to, or I see it now, I didn't see that in the past, and I'm going to need to shorten that swing uh, a heck of a lot and feel like it's it's basically like a half swing because that feels like a full swing to me, but that's way over. I'm basically doing a full 360 before I hit the ball. It's ridiculous. But on the downswing, you can see I get set up in the motion, start to make that move towards this way. You know, I wish I had an arrow that was pointing towards that way. Seeing that move towards this way, the, the issue that I have with this downswing, obviously we know it's not on plane. It's a little more steep. Um, and the issue, the main issue that I have with this is you could see where I'm bottoming out at. I'm bottoming out right at the ball, not before the ball, right at the ball. That's where my, my pendulum is. It's set right at the ball. So basically I'm hitting down on it rather than up on it. So that's something that I want to do. And when I get to set up, I want to be able to have that, that K and I am set up in a K. It looks really, really good here. The, the issue is that once I get out of it, I, I overextend and now I'm out of that K setup. I'm completely, you know, flat. And now I'm starting to push towards it, thinking that I have, you know, upward movement on it, but I end up bottoming out right at the club. And you can see the way that it takes off. It takes off pretty flat, not up. It takes off flat. So um, obviously not the best swing, not the best setup. I have a number of things that I need to work on, keeping my head still, um, not extending as much. I'm also trying to bottom out before the ball and seeing that, um, you know, rise on the ball, hitting up on the ball by a certain amount. So that's something that I really need to work on, and I'm going to continue to work on it um, as time goes on. But let me know if you guys enjoyed this analysis. That's it for the video. Make sure you guys hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Um, it was really fun doing this. Obviously, I was upset on the driving range, um, and I'm sorry if that offends anybody that I got that upset. I just really enjoy playing the game and um, when I'm playing it well I enjoy it more when I'm not playing it well I get upset that all the mechanics are not working I'm a natural athlete so I love to you know be good at sports and uh, if I'm not good at it obviously I get frustrated so sorry if that does offend someone <clears throat> but it ju I just needed to show the emotion this is why I put it on the video is that I have emotions, people hit bad shots, everybody on TikTok and on YouTube and everybody, they, they always show their amazing shots that they do, but they never show the bad ones, and that's what I want to do. So hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell for more videos like this one. Um, make sure you guys check out some of my other content on YouTube, and if you are enjoying this, let me know, but I'm going to get out of here, and I will catch you guys in the next video.